in today's session we would be seeing the application of mice the full form of mice stands out to be multivariate imputation through change equation so what mice does is mice takes a incomplete data set a data set having missing values plugs in the missing value through a proper technique and there are a lot of techniques for this plugging in or the imputation as we say and once this has been done it creates multiple number of complete data sets for each complete data set it performs the required analysis and once the analysis is performed it pulls to give an overall estimate we would take a simple example and the data set that we would be taking is the enhance data set so this data set has four variables age bmi hypertension and cholesterol level and we are interested in modeling cholesterol level as a function of age and hypertension but the problem is that we have missing data so we would use mice and see how we can use the function uh, the the functions in the package mice to analyze the data the objective here is to see how we can implement multiple imputation in r so to implement multiple imputation in r we need the two packages the mice package and the vim package the vim package is needed for the graphics that we would be generating to start with we would be using a data set called enhance now this data set is in the library mice and to get a details of this data set one can use question mark mice a uh, question mark enhance now the data contains four variables the age that's the age group bmi which is body mass index hyp which is the hypertension status and chl which is the cholesterol level the data is stored as a data frame and the missing values are represented as any the objective here is to run a regression with the response variable as cholesterol level and the explanatory variables as age and hyp hyp hypertension status now if we just to see the data we can write head enhance and once we write this head enhance the output is given and we can see the values as well as the missing values are coded as na to inspect the missing data pattern the missing data numbers can be visualized by using the function md dot pattern of the day and input the data frame as the argument so if we give md dot pattern enhance we get age hypertension bmi cholesterol level and we have the numbers like 11111 and then 11011 so on now what's the meaning of this this says that there are 13 out of 25 rows which are complete so in this 13 rows there are no data which is missing there is one row for which only bmi is missing and there are seven rows for which only age is known the total number of missing values equals 27 while most missing values occur for cholesterol and that number is 10 another way to study the pattern involves calculating the number of observations per pattern for all pair of variable so a pair of variable can exactly have four missingness patterns the first one happens when both of the patterns are observed and it's denoted as rr then it might happen that the first variable is observed and the second variable is missing that's the pattern rm the third pattern is that the first variable is missing while the second variable is observed that's pattern mr and 
then we have the fourth pattern and the final pattern where both are missing and that is pattern mm so one can use the md dot peers function to see what is the pairwise pattern and here we have used md dot peers and have stored the result in p and typing p gives us four matrices which gives the pattern so for example we have 14 pairs where hypertension and cholesterol is available right so we have 14 where it's available so there are three cases where hypertension is available but cholesterol is not there is one where cholesterol is not available but hypertension is available and there are seven where none of the cholesterol and hypertension is available the R package BIM contains functions for plotting incomplete data and in general it is a good idea to use this package to see what the patterns or the missing data patterns results in. So we can compare the distribution of one variable within subgroups defined by others and the P box function in BIM does this. So if we say P box enhance POS equal to 1, we generate a plot which looks like this. So, this plot shows the distribution of age in the white box at the left hand side and this distribution is split into three, split three times into two groups corresponding to the missing data in BMI, hypertension and cholesterol respectively and in this case the distributions are quite similar. Now we start our imputation process and the main workhorse for imputation is the function called MICE. So here we are passing the data set to that function. So MICE enhance and storing it in imputation the in the function called or in the object called IMP. Once we run this object IMP, we get the details of the imputation. The details of the imputation says that imputation was generated according to the default method and the default method is the numerical data. The default method for the numerical data is predictive mean matching and that is why it says PMM for age because there is no missing there is a blank. The default number of multiple imputation is equal to 5. Now if we really want to see what are the imputed values, for example what are the imputed values for cholesterol, then we can use the command the object name dollar $IMP dollar the variable which has been imputed. For example here we have used IMP which here both the object name and the, the name of the imputed data set is IMP whereas the results are also stored in IMP that is why we are using two IMPs and then dollar cholesterol CHL and it gives the cholesterol value imputed at each of the five cases or five times. So for each row here corresponds to a missing entry in CHL. And the column contains the multiple imputations. The complete data is combined over the observed and the imputed data set. The first completed data set can be obtained by saying complete IMP, but because of lack of space, I have used the head command. So we to just produce the first for six observations. So this is the imputed data set but this is the for the first time imputed. Now if one wants the second imputed data set one can use complete IMP comma 2 and again due to lack of space I have used the head command so that it gives the first six observations and we see that in both the imputations the imputed values are varying. Now we come to the original problem. Note that here although hypertension status is a binary variable, we have been coding it as 1 and 2 as a continuous variable. And then if we run the complete case analysis, so by default 
the LM function runs a complete case analysis and we would be using the LM function to investigate the relationship between cholesterol, age and hypertension. So, we run the LM command and just print out the summary and we get the summary of the LM command and we see that age has an effect, the intercept is significant. The age can also be treated as significant if we take the cutoff p value at less than 0.1, but hypertension is not. We can get the confidence interval by using the confin function. So, if we do that, we get the confidence interval for the parameters. So, for intercept and for age and for hypertension. Now, let us use the imputed data set. Now, what we can do is we create an object called fit and with the imputed data set that is why with the width function and inside the width function it is the IMP which is the imputed data set. The function that we are applying is LM and what we are analyzing the we are regressing cholesterol with age and hypertension. So, LM explained by age plus hypertension and we are storing it in fit. The fit object contains the result of 5 complete data analysis. So, if we type in fit here, we get the complete case analysis for the 5 impute, I mean the complete analysis for the 5 imputed data. So, for the first one, the intercept comes out to be 1, uh, the effect of the age comes out to be 17.46 while for the second imputation it comes out to be 11.33, for the third it comes out to be 23.87, for the fourth it comes out to be 27.3 and for the fifth it comes out to be 18.58. Now, we can use the pull function on the fit object to see what is the effect. We can have a more detailed effect by using the summary of the pull function. So, the summary of the pull function gives the estimate, the standard error, the t value, the degrees of freedom, the p values, the lower and the upper 95 percent confidence level or the confidence interval and it also gives the FMI which is fraction of missing information. The fraction of missing information is the proportion of variability that is attributable to the uncertainty caused by the missing data. Here note that while the age was significant with a cutoff of 0 0.1 in the complete case analysis, the age does not come to be significant at for the imputed data set or for the results based on imputation. Also, the effect of age and the effect of hypertension is varying from what we get in the complete case analysis. That is by throwing away all cases where the there is one or more missing observations. So, in today's session, we have seen how to use the mice function in the mice package R to perform multiple imputation. We had taken a very simple example of linear regression in context to missing data and have shown how mice can improve the results. There can be a lot of difference in the interpretation when we use a, com a complete case analysis versus a multiple imputed analysis or an analysis based on multiple imputation.